Speak up English, the key to success. Hey Jake, have you ever thought about how to improve your English speaking skills? Oh, all the time. English is such a tricky language. Do you have any tips? Definitely. One of the best ways is to practice speaking regularly. It doesn't matter if you make mistakes, the key is to keep talking. Practice makes perfect, right? I try to talk to myself in English sometimes. Feels a bit silly, but it helps. That's a great idea. It's like having a mini conversation. And what about listening to English podcasts or watching shows? Oh, I love doing that. It helps with understanding different accents and slang. Plus, it's entertaining. Exactly. And you pick up on the natural flow of conversation. Have you tried shadowing? Shadowing? What's that? It's when you listen to a native speaker and try to repeat exactly what they say, like an echo. It helps with pronunciation and intonation. That sounds fun. I'll give it a try. Any other tips? Joining a language exchange or speaking club can be really helpful. It's a great way to practice with others. I've heard about those. They sound like a good opportunity to meet new people and learn together. Absolutely. And don't forget about reading aloud. It can improve your fluency and confidence. Good point. I guess reading out loud helps you get comfortable with the sounds and rhythms of English. Exactly. Plus, it's a good way to practice vocabulary. Speaking of which, do you use flashcards for learning new words? I do. They're really handy for quick reviews. And sometimes I make up funny sentences to remember the words better. That's a smart technique. Humor makes everything easier to remember. Do you have a favorite English word? Hmm. I think serendipity is pretty cool. It means finding something good without looking for it. Nice choice. Mine is ephemeral. It means something that lasts for a very short time. Like our conversation. Aha, well, let's make the most of it then. What about you? Any favorite idioms? I like break the ice. It's perfect for starting conversations and getting comfortable with someone new. That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time I'm nervous about speaking English. So, Emma, what do you think about using apps for learning English? They're super useful. Apps like Duolingo or Memrise make learning fun and interactive. I agree. They turn learning into a game which is way more engaging than just studying from a textbook. Totally. And speaking of engagement, have you tried recording yourself speaking and then listening to it? I have, actually. It's a bit weird hearing my own voice, but it helps me catch my mistakes. 
right? It's a great way to self-correct and improve. Plus, you can track your progress over time. That's true. And it's encouraging to hear the improvements. Do you think thinking in English helps? Definitely. It's one of the best ways to become more fluent. The more you think in English, the less you have to translate in your head. That makes sense. Sometimes I even dream in English. Is that a sign of progress? Absolutely. It means your brain is getting more comfortable with the language. Keep it up. Thanks. Do you have any tips for expanding vocabulary beyond just reading and flashcards? Yes. Try learning words in context. For example, watch a video or read an article on a topic you're interested in and note down new words. Good idea. Context helps with remembering and understanding how to use the words naturally. Exactly. And don't be afraid to use new words in your conversations, even if you're not 100% sure. It's all part of learning. That's true. It's like jumping into the deep end of the pool. Scary, but effective. Ha, uh, exactly. And remember, everyone makes mistakes. It's part of the process. Thanks, Emma. This chat has been really helpful. I'm going to try some of these tips. You're welcome, Jake. Let's keep practicing together. It's always more fun with a friend. Definitely. Looking forward to our next English conversation. Me too. See you soon, Jake. Bye, Emma.